After our trip to the Himalayas, we went to Bangladesh to see how climate change is hitting people. Bangladesh is about the size of England and Wales, but has a population of 149 million. 113 million live on less than £1.20 a day, and 69 million of those on half of that. We found 26,000 people still suffering without water or any income and relying on aid after the cyclone Isla hit six months ago. These are people in Gabura on the southern coast of Bangladesh queuing up for aid which had just arrived when we uh, got there. Well, the bags of wheat you can see here uh, will last the family a week. They make chapatas um, out of them. And over here are the boats which they've arrived at. They have to walk across the mud uh, to get to form the queues to get the aid. The aid is, uh, was a one-off delivery from America and uh, the people are very grateful to get it because it was a day before Eid, which is um, the Christmas, so at least they had something to celebrate with. The cyclone destroyed a lot of embankments and here we see workers repairing an embankment because of the monsoon. It hasn't been able to do the work before, but now it's dried out, they can begin to uh, build this embankment up. And in the distance you can see the Sonderbunds, which uh, where tigers live. And recently a tiger uh, swam across this river and attacked and killed a villager. The tigers are finding less and less to eat and they're attacking more and more people. And it's becoming quite a problem in the villages in southern Bangladesh. The land has all been flooded, so the villagers have got to find some other way, uh, some other source of income. They've had to change from rearing crops and agriculture and what they know and adapt to, um, to fishing and they're just learning about it and learning more about it each year. Well, we visited a village called Hatgassan in Coltier where um, DFID money, British taxpayers' money, has been used to um, give the villagers ducks because ducks can swim and this this area has been flooded uh, gradually more and more since 1995 so they're now rearing ducks and this lady told us that she was um, getting eggs off the ducks which she was using to pay for uh, her children's education she had a son and a daughter and it, uh, the duck eggs paid for uh, their books and things to, so they could go to school this is Sandhya Mundal, who is the best uh, hatcher of eggs uh, in the village. She puts them in this incubator, which is uh, surrounded by rice dust. And here she is showing us um, her uh, eggs, which she's incubating at the moment. They take about uh, 28 days to hatch out. So after 18 days, she takes the eggs out and then she has to check them for whether they're fertile. And here she is showing me the way she does it, which she gets a torch and shines them into the duck egg. And uh, she can tell from that which ones are um, uh, fertile and, and will hatch out. The villagers also told me that uh, Sandhya is such an expert um, at uh, duck rearing that she's the only person in the village who, who can tell which is a male and which is a female.